having put a video on some vintage meters um, I was prompted to perhaps show a couple of AVO meters in England this was at one time thought to be the Rolls Royce of test meters obviously now it's been taken over by these uh, digital meters but in its day probably the 40s or 50s the AVO meter was the bee's knees it was manufactured by a company in Dover Their, the construction was excellent they paid attention to the compensation of weather dampness they used what's called high stab resistors and tropicalized resistors these were obviously sent all around the world we show two here which we'll go into more detail the first one's an AVO 7 model 7 and the other one which looks older was in fact younger and that's an AVO 8 they both are used for obviously testing voltages current ohms and as you can see the leads tell another story they're made of rubber and the rubber's completely perished I would not recommend anyone using leads quite as bad as this the other set of leads are cloth covered and they're in what I would call fair state but nevertheless <laughs> definitely don't use them like that anyhow you probably all guessed where these both came from not at the same day but yes Wimbledon again this one we're looking at now the model 8 this turned up on Saturday I have mentioned it I think in another video I put which was connected with something totally different I think I don't think I put this one on but anyway let me say that going round the boot cell this was on one of the tables and I thought ah another AVO let's see what they want for it so I spoke to the person in charge and I said oh you don't want to act too knowledgeable at the time just act a bit daft so I said to the person um, oh uh, how much is that so the girl looked and says oh that radio so I didn't say anything so she said to another person on the stall how much and he said four pounds well needless to say I whipped four pounds up out and took it it's certainly not a radio but I suppose you know seeing the dial there perhaps they thought it was but to my advantage they didn't <laughs> so anyhow we'll go over, I'll go over it fairly quick because I don't want to bore you all um, the AVO 8 has obviously got extra features in fact it wasn't until about half an hour ago that I real, realised it was a Model 8 I was going to do this video and I thought well I'll get that one out and I was going to leave that in its dirty state how it was found at the boot cell but when I came in with my other one which is fairly clean um, I noticed they were two different ones and that pleased me a lot anyhow the AVO as I say was famous in in England in America I think the equivalent meter and I stand to be corrected here was made by a company called Triplet I used to have a Triplet meter but unfortunately all the ones that seem to have arrived over here I've had a smash case this was a company set up by Ray Triplet over a hundred years ago and they're good meters as well I mentioned this so that there's sort of continuity between the other types of meters. I have got other meters which I can put on let me know if you want them on let me know if you get bored stiff I would like to know anyhow going on to this one how you use it you've got two control knobs this is the sort of basic things if you want to go on to the volt scale 
this knob is turned round to when it says DC. Now we're going on, I say volt scale, we're going on to DC volt scales. So you switch that to where it says DC. It's self explanatory, but I'll go over it. The other knob, we're on the DC rate. Now we'll switch that to whatever range we want. It starts up one volt up to a thousand. At the moment it's set on a hundred, which is a hundred full scale would be the hundred, which is which would be at that point there, the hundred. Obviously you've got other settings. Remember this is all at the DC range. <clears throat> This is for ohms testing, which is obviously for testing the value of resistors. I'll go back the other way. This is your, a, a, your ampere readings. Be careful when using this one, particularly that first one. That one there, be very careful very easily burn the moving coil movement out so careful if you're doing amps you know really double check and with volts go to the volts higher than you think it is that way hopefully you won't go too wrong anyhow if we could switch to, to AC we're now set to do readings with AC and go back to the other knob, remove the DC and you've got all your AC readings a capacity, amps, volts, power, decibels so everything associated with AC and that will be the sine wave is on this side square wave you would get a different reading so if you've got an inverter which are often square wave the reading would be slightly different. RMS stands for root mean squared and it only applies to a sine wave not to a square wave. Anyhow sorry to labour that a bit. Other things you've got on here is a divide by two which alters the reading. Here you've got a little, a little variable resistor when you're testing the ohms you always want to short the two leads together before putting it on the resistor and the reading will go right across full scale. Get it on the full scale and then if it doesn't you by altering that resistor you'll bring it up or bring it down. It has to be on, on the full scale, if it isn't you'll get a false reading. As I say I'm not going to go into too much detail I don't want to send, send you all to sleep. Now the other meter, which is the Model 8, it is more or less the same. The controls are the same, They're, the knobs are a bit different but they do the same thing. You've got your, you've got your AC range, which means you go on to this one, AC and ohms. The DC, once again, you go to the other one. So that part's more or less the same. The scales are basically the same. Although this one does have a couple of extra ones added in. You've got your volt, your volt scale. Which I think might go up to... Yeah, you're, this one shows 25 volts, whereas the other one does not. You've also got high voltage reading terminals. You obviously go to a common terminal, which the common ter terminal is that one there. That one is always used. So you'd connect your test leads onto there and onto that one at the top to read up to 2500 volts DC and that's the negative pole 
The other one is for your AC reading. So if you would connect it to that one for AC. And the 25 reading would be on that bottom scale where it says 25. Add a couple of zeros and you've got your reading. Anyway, that's more or less it. Um, any questions, please ask. If you ever get a chance of finding one of these, pick them up because they're money in the bank. Turn the back over. You'll see it's made by the Automatic Coil Winder and Electrical Equipment Company Limited. Had offices in Winder House, Douglas Street, London, South West 1, which is Westminster, where the Houses of Parliament are. Um, they have a re in registered principal countries throughout the world, British patents. Now, this is the 8, so that's the later one. The other one is pretty sure is the same type of um, area where it was made. Yeah, Winder House, Douglas Street, London, South West 1. I know they have a repair shop in Dover and it's under the mega company now and I understand the gentleman that used to calibrate these has now retired so I don't know how you would get them recalibrated he had obviously worked for the company for many many years and that's my clock chiming. So anyhow, thanks for looking. Any questions, please ask. Any comments, please leave. Please subscribe. And once again, thank you for, for your indulgence. And I am very grateful for it. Thank you again. Thank you.